Hey guys, back with another video. I uh, got another Burberry item for you to check out. Uh, just picked up a, actually, a bag that uh, I've kind of been had my eye on. Um, just for carrying stuff back and, you know, back and forth from school, work, kind of like an everyday kind of deal. Uh, I went with one of their canvas bags here. I already took it out of the bag. You guys have seen all that stuff before. Um, so this one's not going to sit up real well. There's no real structure to it, it's just a bag. So, uh, went with one of the check bags here. Um, just kind of give you a little tour of it. Because um, not everybody has one of their stores nearby them, so you can't really check this stuff out or kind of look it over. So that's what these videos are for, guys. If you've got a store near you, you know, just go there and check this stuff out. That's the best before you buy it. But if you have to buy on the website, that's what I'm doing this for, is so you can check it out first. So, it's a good size bag, um, trying to think of like what you would compare the size to. Um, I don't know, I mean, here's, here's an iPad next to it, so I'll see if I can back the video up here. So, check that out, you know, height wise. Uh, show you just some things on the website before we get into it. Um, So it's uh, $7.95 on Burberry's website. Um, leather trim, uh, fold over top, concealed draw, draw cord closure, um, felt line straps. Um, it's over half jute, which is a strong kind of fiber. Um, that's what most of it's made out of, and then cotton for everything else. So they got a some pretty good pictures on the website of what to expect but it's not really the same as being able to kinda you know really check it out and see what it's like so we'll get into it so right away on the outside I mean it's good it's kinda got the check thing going on um, without being too distinctive I guess I don't know like kinda my watch and all this other stuff it's more I don't know what the word I'm looking for is I guess because all the lines go horizontal, and I guess I'm used to it all kind of going diagonal, but, you know, is what it is. So there's kind of two around the outside. You got some leather lining here and there on the back. You know, you got two straps that are pretty adjustable. You got holes up top and on the bottom, so you can adjust these to whatever length you want. Uh, one thing I'm not crazy about, I mean, obviously I still picked it up, but on the straps here is, this is your cushion, this kind of felt. And at first, I almost took them off because I thought they were some sort of like part of the packaging. But they're, they're actually, this is the strap to kind of, you know, be a little cushion. And I'm not digging the, the exposed kind of felt. I wish they would have done something different. Maybe put some leather around it or something. It, it looks unfinished to me. I, I'm I'm really not digging that, but I dig the bag overall, you know, enough to buy it. Um, but if I could change something, that would be it. And they they kind of they slide all over the place. You know, you got to kind of play with them and get them where you like them, and you know, adjust them every once in a while. But you know, if I had to knock it for something, that would be it. Uh, keep going around. Here's a cool little uh, from the back. A pretty good size zipper into the main compartment here so if you had to quick get at something and you don't want to mess with all the string you know the strings and the buttons and all that stuff just a quick in and out there you go uh, you could have some headphones coming out of there put your tunes in there come around to the front we got a nice uh, little flap here so this one with the buckle you gotta undo that you can get into a nice little flap here so if if you're going like you know on the plane or something like that you can put your passport stuff in there easy access right away in the front there so I'll buckle that back up and then coming up to the top here um, so normally this you don't have to buckle this there's a snap for that I don't know why they didn't do that down here but you do that Nice simple drawstring closure here. I do like that, just it's simple. Less, less shit to break. I don't really like zippers and all that stuff. 
So, and you come inside and it's just, you know, it's simple from there. You can fit a lot of shit in here though. Uh, so, what would be the front pouch? You got two pouches right there. Um, you could probably fit like an iPhone in the left side and maybe like a Nook on the right side. That might be a little tight, but maybe like a Galaxy Note 3 or something on the right side just to give you kind of what, what's going on in there. And then you also have kind of a hidden pouch too because you don't really notice it right away. So right above the uh, Burberry plate on the inside, you've got a zipper here. So, you know, you can put put whatever you need to in a hidden compartment in your backpack. So that's kind of slick, too. And then, of course, the uh, ID tag. If you're ever buying a, a Burberry item from somewhere other than a reputable, real, reputable retailer, look for an ID tag. Just, just do it. Um, yeah, so pretty sweet bag. Just picked it up today. I'm going to rock it, you know, to work and to school and all that stuff. And... Just kind of check it out and see how it holds up. All right, see you in a couple weeks. All right, guys. So had this thing for a couple weeks, and I'm definitely still digging it. Um, with these videos, you'll know if I don't have this, this stuff anymore because I'll just start out this video and it won't be sitting here. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely cool. Uh, it's been real good to me. There's a lot of room inside. Like, I've been carting all sorts of stuff back and forth you know all my books my ipads all that stuff and um yeah definitely a lot of room holds up good um yeah definitely been digging it getting some use out of that hidden pocket um the only thing like i thought in the beginning that i wasn't quite digging were these straps here like oh, i just got home and um already it's kind of sunk down to the lower and i always wear it towards the top here so I find myself having to do this a lot and I haven't found a way around that I think that's just something you got to live with if you get this bag a um, lot of compliments on it you know it's very very distinct so yeah cool bag uh, if you want to drop the money on something like that if you're looking for a bag that you can use all the time um, you know it gets noticed if you're into that sort of thing uh, it is a little expensive but I plan to have it for quite a while. I mean, the, this canvas is definitely going to hold up, you know. I examined this, the stitching and all that. It's got a reinforced bottom, so I wouldn't worry about that. You know, if you take care of your stuff, you know, if you're not just tossing shit around in the dirt and all that stuff, this this will last you years and years and years. I've got no issues with that. And it's not, you know, a lot of people will buy a backpack. They'll spend like 80 bucks on a backpack and then use it for, you know, a semester or two or, you know, whatever. And then it just ends up in a closet somewhere and you never fucking see it again and it gets all dirty and just kind of forgotten about. This this is something I intend to hang on to for quite a while. Well, I guess till it, you know, if it ever fails, that's when I'd stop using it. So plans to be in my, my bag I use for travel and, you know, if I ever need a bag, it's going to be the one I grab because it, it's not too dressy it's you know just kind of it's just a canvas backpack man so anyway definitely dig it uh if you're if you're looking to spend some money on a bag that's the one um it's in the men's section but you know ladies i don't think you'd have a problem rocking this um just here on their website you know checking it out again here they do have another one that's a uh, a little bit smaller for for maybe the ladies same price um, they didn't have it in the store for me to check out, but it looks, at least on the website, just a touch smaller. But, uh, yeah. So, definitely go check it out. Um, again, if you have a store near you, just go check it out there. Um, otherwise, if you have to buy on the website, and if you're looking for something like this, I'd pick it up. Uh, especially if you can find it, like on Nordstrom, they do free returns anyway, so, that ain't no big deal. So, Go pick it up. All right, I'll see you guys at the next one.